Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Wills Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a read. This is a, um, as it is a general reading, it might not resonate with everybody. So please do make sure that, uh, that it resonates with you, that it makes sense with you. And if it doesn't, just toss it onto the side. Um, if ever you would like to have your own reading, you're in search of answers, you're in search of guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And it will be my great pleasure to, um, to give you the different type of readings that I can offer you so we can go and find those answers that you're searching for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button. Um, and it would be mostly appreciated. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This reading is dedicated to the sign of Taurus. These are channeled messages by your guardian angel. Very important when I'm talking about guardian angels, you need to be patient. Um, you need to be patient. You need to be open on the guidance that is given to you. Okay. You need to feel safe in the knowledge that your guardian angel always has your best interest at heart. Okay. You need to believe. So your guardian angel, I have channeled, I have two messages for you, which I'm going to reveal to you in just one moment. And I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of a power of love, an activation card. So um, let's just turn these over, my dear friends, Taurus, and see what your guardian angel has to tell you. You have an angel of happiness and you have an angel of uh, comfort. So we're going to begin with the angel of happiness because it is the first one that came out. So let's just place this one here and let's begin. So the angel of happiness, you are happy, you're loving, you're abundant, and you are an abundant spiritual being who has the ability to share your happiness with others. Now, You've received this message from your guardian angel, the angel of happiness, wants you to know that you can and you will return to your natural state of happiness. Happiness is a natural state of being that we, we often take for granted at, at, you know, at some, well, at sometimes, often actually. Um, do you remember as a child how happy you once felt? Smiling and laughing was an everyday occurrence that was a very prominent part of your life. Now, as we grow into adulthood, we can at times mm, forget to see that happiness is still within us and it's still everywhere around us. It is only when we stop and we become still and focus our attentions on what creates happiness in our life that we realize that we have been focusing simply on the wrong thing. Your angel of happiness wants to help you to see that there is an abundance of happiness and it is just waiting to put a smile right back onto your face. On the other hand, do you have a friend who is always unhappy and has lost their direction in life? Your angel of happiness wants to accompany you while you show others around how to get their happiness back. Smiling is the first step to opening the soul to happiness. Laughter is the second step to happiness. So you need to make it your journey from this day forward to remind yourself each day what it is that makes you happy. Remember to smile at your friends, at strangers. Sharing happiness with yourself and others is the beginning of returning to your natural state of happiness. I have an affirmation for you. I am happy and at peace with myself. I allow my angel of happiness to accompany me along my journey so that we can share smiles and happiness with others. Now we're going to move over to your second message and your second angel, which is the angel of comfort. The angel of comfort is accepting the comfort and the support that your angel shares with you from above. Now, you've received this message from your guardian angel, the angel of comfort, that acknowledges that you are experiencing some challenging times. Are you feeling alone? Have you recently lost a loved one? Are you maybe having challenges with work? 
maybe with family. If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then it is time to call in your angel of comfort. Your angel of comfort will offer you comfort and your angel will offer you some support. Don't feel that any challenge or issue that you are worrying about is too small for the assistance of your guardian angel. All you need to focus on is that he is by your side at your times of need. Your angel of comfort wants to offer you a shoulder to cry on, a strong hand to hold, and an ear to listen to, and to listen to your worries, and to listen to your fears. Your guardian is going to offer you strength, comfort, and guidance to help you understand that in time, you are going to heal. Your angel of comfort may even guide an earth angel into your life in times of need. Now the earth angel could come in the form of a like-minded friend, a family member, or a work colleague who has experienced similar challenges in their life as you're currently experiencing. Sometimes getting back into your comfort zone can be as simple as sharing your experiences with another. Through talking about your issues with your angel of comfort or the earth angel is going to send you and it may give you a fresh insight. Your angel of comfort will help you to return to your natural state of well-being. Now, he is going to show you the way to help you release any of your past fears so that you will no longer return to your past state of discomfort. All you need to do is to trust. It's to have faith that your angel of comfort has the knowledge that is required to assist you. You need to leave the why, the when, and the how up to him and he will take care of the rest. An affirmation for you is I am safe in hands. My angel of comfort is healing me in my time of need. Now I'm going to finish with my activation card, which is all about peacefulness. You recognize that balance, that kindness and love brings calmness to your soul. It is a sad irony of life that humans can really only appreciate the quality of a peaceful existence by experiencing moments uh, of comparative turmoil and conflict. Just as you most value your health after an illness, so do you feel most grateful for peace once you have encouraged strife. But discord is something that you can learn to avoid. Lucky is the soul who learns this lesson quickly. Confrontation and conflict are not the energy of spirit. Most people in our world are reactors, especially when they are in the recipients of negativity. They align more with an eye for an eye than turn the other cheek. Unfortunately, they just don't realize that this is the worst possible response that they could even mount. A punitive reaction instantly forces the brain into survival mode and hormones and chemicals of self-preservation are released into the body, which attempts to rid itself of the foreign invader who broke through the calm of its normal environment. Now, the intensity takes a toll onto the mind and onto the body, eventually bringing about a state of disease. This is why it is imperative that you make it a vital part of your daily ritual to return to a state of peaceful, bliss, and harmony as often as possible. This, my dear friends Taurus, was your guardian angel reading. I hope that you enjoyed the channeled messages. I hope you're going to be able to apply them. I hope that you are going to remember that your angels are next to you and they are there to support you. If you do have any questions, you would like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there and I'll see you soon.